All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna tie everything together. We're gonna write an equation in vertex form and then go from vertex form to standard form. So keep watching. Okay, so this example is a lot like the last example that we did together. So the first thing I want to do is pick out my vertex. So I can see my vertex is on the parabola and it's already labeled for me, it's two comma 10. So remember your vertex is the highest or the lowest point on your parabola, or you can also think of it as the point where the parabola starts changing direction. And a point on the graph that I'm going to use is zero comma four. So I know that I can plug that into the structure of my vertex form. So remember the structure is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So I'm going to plug two comma 10 in for h and k into that equation. So I've got y equals a, I don't know what my a is, remember that's my stretch, x minus two squared plus 10, okay? And so I've already plugged in those values. The next thing I wanna do is plug in zero in for x and plug in four in for y because when I plug in those values, I've got enough information in my equation to help me figure out what my stretch should be. So let's go ahead and substitute that. So I've got four equals a zero minus two squared plus 10, okay? And now I've gone ahead and substituted in all of my values. I can start working backwards and simplifying this equation to solve for a. So I'm going to start um, by doing the simplifying the stuff inside parentheses. So I've got four equals a zero minus two is negative two squared plus 10. And then I'm just going to move over here. Okay, remember that squared is only acting on this negative two. So it's saying negative two times itself. So negative two times negative two is positive four. So I've got four equals a times four, or you can even write that as four a. So I'm gonna write that as four a, so four a plus 10. Okay, and then I can work backwards to solve for a. So I'm gonna subtract 10 on both sides of my equation. Four minus 10, that's negative six, equals four a, divide both sides by four, divide by four, and I have my fraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify that as negative three halves equals a. And now I can write an equation in vertex form. So y equals, negative three halves a, or negative three halves, that's what I got for a, x minus two squared plus 10. And this is my vertex form of that parabola. Okay, so now for number two, I'm going to use that vertex form to help me figure out my equation in standard form. So I'm starting off with y equals negative three halves x minus two squared plus 10. Now remember to start simplifying this, we are going to expand that x minus two. So remember this squared here is saying, hey, we're gonna take this x minus two and multiply it by itself two times. So that looks like y equals negative three halves x minus two times itself plus 10, okay? Um, from there, you can set up a box, which I'm going to go ahead and do, which again, is just a way for me to keep my work organized. If you guys do it a different way and you guys just draw arrows, that's totally okay. You can go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so once I've multiplied everything, I can go ahead and add any like terms. And so when I add all of those things, I get x squared, negative two plus negative two is negative four. So I have negative four x plus four, okay? So I'm going to replace x minus two times x minus two with x squared minus four x plus four. So my equation now looks like y equals negative three halves x squared minus four x plus four, and then plus 10 all the way at the end. So once I've got to here, I can distribute that negative three halves um, to everything inside my parentheses. So 
I've got negative 3 halves times x squared is negative 3 halves x squared minus, or not, well, this would turn into a plus because a negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 3 halves times negative 4 is going to give you 6x. And then over here, I've got minus 6 because a negative times a positive is a negative. And then we're going to bring down that plus 10 at the end there. Okay. And then I can go ahead and simplify. So I have y equals negative 3 halves x squared plus 6x plus 4. And there is my standard form. And a quick check for me is that I can get my y-intercept from the last number here from that constant. So it says my y-intercept should be 4. I can check that on the graph and my y-intercept is indeed 4. Okay, thanks for watching.